Well, tonight we continue our medical innovation series with an ironic twist. The representative of a medical device company never thought he'd actually need the device he sold to hospitals and taught staff how to use. Yeah, well, he knows better than just about anyone now at this point how this device really does save lives. And senior health correspondent Monica Robbins is introducing us now. Mark Cater is 41, husband, father of five, and a registered nurse. He's also an associate clinical consultant for medical device company Abiomed. Impella is the only percutaneous heart pump providing hemodynamic support to enable heart recovery. He's passionate about educating medical staff on how to use this, the Impella device. As a cardiac care nurse for 15 years, Cater witnessed it save lives. Because I used it a lot in the ICU and in the cath lab and saw it work. And if I wanted to work for a device company, I'd like to work for a company that helped other people. What exactly is it? It's been described as a straw with a motor. So it, it literally just takes blood from one chamber of the heart, the left ventricle, and then ejects it out to the rest of the body when the heart isn't able to do it on its own. The device enters the heart through the femoral artery, similar to a stent. It's done in the cath lab and then removed when the heart can pump on its own. It's been a game changer. 50% of patients who have cardiogenic shock die. I mean, this is a very sobering statistic. And that's been despite advances in medications, despite advances in cardiac interventional therapy. And recently, it's been demonstrated the Impella device in treatment of cardiogenic shock has had an incremental improvement in survival by 20%. So that's a real, I mean, that's been a very impactful therapy. Cardiogenic shock means the heart is failing to pump. The Impella device takes over the work until the heart is strong enough for it to be removed. Mark never thought it would be a game changer for him, too. I couldn't fully endorse a product without using it myself. He's not kidding. Last August, Mark, who has no family history of heart disease, collapsed in his bathroom. His wife found him and called 911. He arrived by ambulance at a Hoosier Medical Center, where the team he worked with for 15 years was waiting. It was a ventricular arrhythmia, but not like the normal VTAC. They tried to shock me in, back into a normal rhythm, but it wouldn't go. Uh, but it was like a slower rhythm, so probably around like 20 beats per minute. The fact that he is a representative for this company and then was the direct recipient of the device that saved his life, I mean, it really is incredibly ironic. And I'd say that his age and the fact that he had five children, that was not lost on us. It added certainly a dimension of pressure, not only knowing Mark personally, but knowing that he had so much to live for so much more to give. The Impella helped pump Mark's heart for two and a half days. He spent a week and a half in the hospital and now has a defibrillator and pacemaker implanted in his chest. The experience makes his new career more important. It just makes me believe in what I'm doing more, that, it, that it's effective, that it works, that it can change lives and save lives. Monica Robbins, 3 News. That's impressive, 20% yeah. that it helps. And he, he's, he can fully endorse it now. I mean, yeah. this is not like driving a car and like, <laughs> oh, I drove this car. I mean, this is like something this that's really literally true. keeping you alive. Yep. So he's a walking uh, walking billboard. I hope he of gets a little kind. bit of a raise for that one. <laughs> <laughs> personal, personal experience here that's with this. It. Monica, <laughs> thank you for, for bringing us that story. Speaking of.